what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl liz back with another reaction video we're going to do nukes top five five scary ghost videos you won't watch alone we're not alone because we're here together right guys <laughs> now let's get into it top five ghosts call on camera Meanwhile, on TikTok, TikTok user Chris has security cameras mounted all around his home. Late one night, the cameras capture a very bizarre incident in his living room. So, Chris sits at home hanging out with his friends when all of a sudden, a phone starts ringing. Now, there's nothing weird about that, right? Well, trust me, it all gets very weird very fast. <laughs> Uh, Dude, you can if you want to, honey. Uh, well, that was cool as s**t. Uh, what? What? No! What? No! What? What? No! What? That phone was just out of your ear! It's plugged in! What? That thing's not plugged in! What? That's the reason why it's not plugged in! Did you ring? An old landline phone that Chris has on his wall starts ringing and his friend Julie picks it up. However, there's no one on the line, just static. But this is where things take a very bizarre turn. You see, Chris found this phone in an old abandoned school and simply hung the phone on his wall as some sort of retro decoration. This phone is not plugged in to anything. There's absolutely no phone service or even a cable attached to this ringing landline phone. After his video went viral on TikTok, Chris followed up with a new video explaining exactly where he found the creepy phone. So, backstory of how I got the phone. I was at an abandoned building exploring, and I was in the basement, and in the middle of the room, there was this phone on the wall. Perfect condition, worked and everything. So I ripped it out of the wall, ripped the cord off right off, brought it home so I could hang it up on my wall for decoration. Dumb. Chris says that right after the strange ringing, he and his friends opened up the phone and looked for anything suspicious that could explain the scary event. Even possibly a speaker hidden inside the phone as a prank. But they found nothing out of the ordinary. Just a standard old telephone. They had no explanation for the bizarre ringing. So now, fearing that the phone might be cursed, Chris decides to return it to the place he found it which happens to be the abandoned Cooley High School in Detroit, Michigan. The school opened in 1928 and due to budget cuts was later closed in 2010. Over its nearly 100 year history, the school was believed to be extremely haunted. On his trip to return the phone to the school, Chris is joined by Julie, his friend who earlier picked up the ringing phone, and his buddy Nathan. Chris records their entire exploration of the old abandoned school. And as you might guess, it did not go well. Of course. Alright, so we're here <laughs> at the school we got the phone from. Uh, I was trying to do live, but I don't have service in here. Uh, we have Nathan and the girl who answered the f***ing phone in the first place. Hey. It's been seven days, you should be dead. I hope I am. You're actually probably going to die tonight. That's fine. <laughs> That's not a funny joke. Alright, so I know the basement is on this side. Basement. <sighs> Dude, what if the phone rings in the backpack? Dude, yeah, I, I would push you down the stairs. I would push you down the stairs. Oh. Hey, guys, how you doing? Yeah, this is the room. Yeah, this is the room. Oh. Right, what the f*** is in here? Oh. And there's the pull right here. Right there, that's the cord. I ripped it out of the wall. All right, so uh, Julie took the phone out of the backpack and put it on the wall. No, <laughs> you picked it up so you can touch it. Whatever goes in the I don't want it.
It starts ringing. <laughs> original location in the school, the three friends start to hear unexplained ringing coming from somewhere inside the creepy abandoned building. Chris has had enough and just runs. His two friends follow and they all get out of there as fast as they can. To this day, Chris says that he has no intention of ever going back to the haunted Cooley High School. So did Chris capture a paranormal phone call from beyond? Or... Is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's crazy. You decide. TikTok user Isaiah Castillo and his girlfriend Melissa are proud owners of a cute Aww. schnauzer named Haley. One night when Haley is alone in the couple's living room, this happens. security camera in the like living room captures the moment when little Haley gets so spooked that she just runs away in sheer terror. Aww. Now first, unexplainably, the dog starts to bark at something we can't see. She then hops onto the couch, but something catches her attention on the back wall. Suddenly, she vaults off the couch in an absolute panic, running so fast that she slides across the floor and crashes into the living room wall. As she runs, a thick cover can be seen falling to the floor at the same spot where the dog had been staring. Ooh. Now, it's certainly possible that the vent could have fallen from the force of Haley jumping off the couch. But, she can be seen staring at that spot before the vent even falls. So it leaves the question, what terrifying thing did the puppy see that made her bolt out of the room? Let me know what you think. I wonder if there's someone hiding in there. A Paranormal Nightmare Foreman brothers Josh and Rocky from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series were contacted by a woman named Linda who lives in Lancaster, Ohio. She says that ever since she moved into her house three and a half years ago, she has been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity. The home has a very dark past. The house was built in the year 1900 on land that had once been a Civil War encampment. In the 1920s, a man mysteriously died in the home after an unexplained fall down the stairs. Years later, in the 1950s, it was used as a funeral home. It is also said that in the 1970s, a man tragically took the life of his wife in the living room before ending his own life. With a history like that, it's not surprising that Linda has experienced everything from unexplained loud crashing and dragging sounds to the voices and cries from a little boy and girl. Her bed is shaken violently on many nights and she says she has been touched and physically hit by something she cannot see. On occasion, she says that something has whispered her name in her ear. She has seen the apparition of a man in the basement and one of the spirits in the home seems to be extremely violent and dangerous. I moved here three and a half years ago, so it would have been about 2017. I've been poked. I've had bruises on my legs. I've been shoved down the stairs. This stairwell right here, I got pushed down this about 
I don't know, about a month ago. I was about halfway down and got shoved from the back. Now, taken on its own, Linda's claim that something tries to shove her down the stairs could simply be dismissed as random missteps or perhaps exaggeration. But she's not the first to experience strange activity in this home. The Foreman brothers contact the house's previous owner. There was a whole lot of activity, and let's just say that I kind of slipped down the stairs a couple times when I didn't lose my footing. <laughs> I, was, I was pushed. Sure. I wonder if she told Linda the lady says that up in her attic bedroom, she often she hears voices do it. and whispering. One day, she sets up a camera in her bedroom and actually catches some of the most terrifying EVPs you'll ever hear. and Rocky Foreman and go to investigate the like old home in hopes of capturing even more paranormal evidence and to help Linda with the aggressive and frightening paranormal activity in the home. Throughout the investigation, Josh and Rocky hear and capture very bizarre sounds that they can't explain. Is there anyone in here with us? Let's hear that. Mm -hmm. uh, something just moved right behind me. I think it just moves up. Oh, right here. Loud banging right next to me. The two brothers capture the loud sounds of knocking and unexplained banging, but eventually things start to get a bit more physical. What? Hold on, something just touched me. Where at? Right on my elbow. Felt like cobwebs. Mm -hmm. Just brushed up against me. Did you touch Rocky? The guest bedroom is said to be one of the most supernaturally active rooms in the house. So Josh decides to lie down on the bed to try to provoke the ghosts that haunt the house. A lot of pillows. It seems that he did provoke something. Man, it feels cool around here. I mean, my. <gasps> Whoa! I mean, my. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh. 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 I seen something. Something just grabbed my foot. says that he sees a dark shadow figure at waist height moving towards Rocky. Rocky then feels something grab his leg and it scares him so much that he accidentally breaks the mount on his camera and falls hard against the bed. Now if you're familiar with the Foreman Brothers videos, you know that they always stay calm and composed whenever they see or hear anything during an investigation. So to see both Josh and Rocky so freaked out in this footage, it just makes the video even more compelling. So did Josh and Rocky Foreman catch the ghosts that are haunting Linda in her home? And just what grabbed Rocky's ankle? And should Josh have cared a little more? Throw the f line. Oh, keep going. <laughs> That's what we want. It just grabbed my leg. Let me know what you think. You can watch it this real. full video and many more mm -hmm. great supernatural investigations over on their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Hide and Seek.
popular Spanish YouTuber and paranormal explorer Ricky Velasquez frequently does live streams while exploring allegedly haunted locations in Mexico. In his live stream, Ricky and his friends Nazi and Aliza are exploring a haunted house in Ciudad Guzman, Mexico that is said to be inhabited by the ghost of a little girl. But Ricky believes it's possible that this little girl spirit might not actually be a little girl at all, but something else, something dark and sinister. When Ricky tries to provoke a reaction by asking the little girl ghost to play hide and seek with them, things quickly take a turn toward the very bizarre. Ahí estamos en el espejo. Estamos en la casa de la niña. ¿Qué fue ese ruido? Si ¿Sí sientes aquí mismo que está encerrado y cómo se siente. Vamos a jugar a la escondida, niña. Ricky and his friends are gathered in the haunted building's restroom when they hear the unexplained moan of a child coming from somewhere inside the room with them. They quickly run out and into the hall. However, the hallway doesn't seem much safer. Niña. ¿Te acuerdas de mí? Hola. The group is spooked when they hear a loud unexplained bang. Now they run right back into the restroom. After taking a moment to calm down, they continue their investigation. Ricky looks into the bathroom mirror and captures something absolutely chilling. Yeah. Did you see it? Ricky and his two friends have no idea that they are not alone as Ricky captures what appears to be a figure right behind him, visible at the edge of the mirror's reflection. But what happens next terrifies them all. Si ves eso en el espejo se ve como manchas así, como rostros. Oye, ¿te puedes ver? Ricky casually films the mirror once again and both he and his friends see something strange in the reflection. When Ricky turns around, he is shocked to his core as the apparition of a little girl appears in the restroom with them. Ricky and his friends run from the haunted house in terror and the live stream investigation ends right there. So did Ricky catch the ghost of a little girl live on camera? Oh my gosh. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know. But that Again, is crazy. it's up to you to decide. You can check out this paranormal investigation and been, all of Ricky's investigations over on his YouTube it. channel, Ricky oh, Velasquez. Alone in the dark. Reddit user RUANGC143 and her 17-year-old son have been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity after moving into their new Ooh. home in Massachusetts. Amy doesn't know much about the history of the house other than that it was built in 1895, so one can only imagine the events that might have taken place in the house over the last 126 years. Amy says she has heard strange noises in the middle of the night, loud banging, the sound of locked doors somehow opening and closing, and the crash of what sounds like heavy objects falling on the floor. Their personal items mysteriously disappear. And strangest of all, their pets, two dogs and a cat, often exhibit very strange behavior. Mama, what's over there? Animal 
animals know, man. They sense that stuff. What are you trying to find? Uh oh. Why are you just standing there, staring over there? What the? F what the f is she trying to get? There's nothing there. The family cat has been staring at something that Amy can't see for five minutes before she finally decides to record it with her phone. Now, maybe the cat saw something or maybe it was just in an odd mood. But now, this next video that the worried mother shared to her Reddit page is a little harder to explain. Like there's something walking you can around. hear the sound of someone walking around in Amy's bedroom, even though she is completely alone in the house and fast asleep in bed. Amy caught this recording using a night vision camera that she set up in her bedroom. She has another camera set up just so around creepy. the corner, filming the living room and hallway. Cut to another night, and this time the second camera captures something truly disturbing. Looks like something's by the couch. A bizarre, unexplained shadow wow. seems to rise up from the area near the couch on the far right and then quickly disappears back into the darkness, even though there's no one in the room to cast it that shadow. Like a person one up night, on the couch. Amy's son decides to spend the night at his girlfriend's place, leaving Amy all alone in the house again. As she sleeps, her security camera captures something downright chilling. Shadow figure. It's like a person pacing back and forth, but it's just a shadow. A strange figure seems to pace back and forth outside of Amy's bedroom. Amy explains that she kept hearing strange banging and dragging sounds and eventually got out of bed to look around her home. She found nothing. But when she checks her camera's recorded footage, she is shocked. What is especially creepy is that Amy says that one direction the figure is pacing leads directly into a wall. Amy shares on her Reddit page that she's worried for her 17-year-old son and is only sharing these videos to get answers and hopefully help. As far as I could find, Amy has never posted any supernatural content to social media before these videos. So... Did Amy capture evidence of the paranormal? As always, let me know what you think. You can watch all that of Amy's creepy. videos and keep updated on her Reddit page at RUAMYC143. Uninvited. Popular Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, Strange things start to happen. Oh, what? Well, 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 wow, wow, wow. Sorry. Wow. I can't help but laugh. Would you still go in there if you saw that thing moving by itself? Like he just got there and stuff already started happening.
He's scaring himself. As soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now, obviously, Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Just an empty room. Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. The ghost hunter's stomach suddenly starts to growl from hunger and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something is walking up right behind him. But when he turns around, again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange attack and makes a run for oh it. Oh my god. So did Michael capture evidence of something paranormal on camera? Something trying to attack Ooh. him? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Man. You decide. You can check out this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Docha Michael. Thanks so much for watching for Channel Up. Holy smokes, guys. Man, my nerves are crazy. Let me check my heart rate right quick. Wow, yeah. My heart rate went up, too. <laughs> I just had, like, a massive hot flash and chills. What did you guys think of this one? This is crazy. Like, all of these haunted houses. Oh, you guys. Okay, I am definitely going to record my haunted, um, my haunted apartment story for you guys. I was trying to decide whether or not to do the... Um, we call it the um, sleep paralysis one or the haunted um, apartment. I'm actually going to do the haunted apartment after watching this. I'm motivated and I'm going to do it. And I think I still have some pictures. I don't know if I have any video, but I do have some pictures from there. So at least one really good one I know of with my dog in it. So I'm definitely going to post that one. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Which one was the scariest one for you? I don't know. Um, each one of them was scary for me because it each one basically takes me back to a personal experience that I've had. So I can't really choose which is worse. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching this spooky, spooky, spooky video with me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to do another one, maybe Sir Spooks, but I love to do um, the Nukes Top 5. So if you guys have any recommendations of spooky videos you'd like to see on this channel, please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will catch y'all at the next one.